Hey there, Internet Keith here, and welcome to the Cars Give YouTube channel. And in this video, we are putting the three inch inch hose up against the Uberflex quarter inch. Now, most pressure washers come with a quarter inch hose, unless you have a higher end gas pressure washer, or maybe some of the higher end uh, detail oriented ones will come with a three inch inch. But most all of them come with a quarter inch. So almost all of your electric pressure washers are designed. They're metered and tested and all the benchmarks are done on the quarter inch hose. The problem is most of them come with a very short hose. So most people upgrade. Now in the detailing car enthusiast world, it's kind of 50-50. A lot of people go this way and a lot of people go this way. Now I will say I went this way for some reasons that really are not true. And I found out over time as I've been playing with the quarter inch hose and I've learned as I've gone down the road of all of these fittings and all of these houses and everything and why people go this way and why people go this way, I'll explain it all. This non-marking gray hose that I have here from Amazon, these usually run between 55 and 75 bucks. Now you have your Cobra Jets and the very expensive ones that are well over $100, but I'm not about to spend that on a 50 foot hose. Your Uberflex, like this right here, they're between 50 and 60 bucks for 50 feet. Now I went with this hose for mainly three reasons. Two of them are really legitimate and one of them, I don't know if it's just a, it's a fad, a theme. Uh, I, th I think Matt Moore from Assess Garage kind of at least started this or maybe some other people in the detailing world going to the three inches hose just because. Because truly for car enthusiasts, anything under two, two and a half gallons per minute, you will not see a performance difference between the two because the quarter inch hose can put out that kind of volume. Now, the second reason was, is most all three inches hoses already come pre-installed with the quick connects that you need. Now, the reason I bought this hose is just, it's heavier duty. It's 4,000 PSI max, and this kind of um, construction is much heavier. It's a braided design. Since it's heavier, it lays better on the floor. But as I'm, you know, using these more and more, I'm really liking it. Um, it's just really flexible. It is definitely much lighter. Uh, so I really haven't figured out how it works in the hose reel. We're going to do that in this video. But one of the myths that I had with the quarter inch is this M22 fitting being way too bulky and in the way. And it's just not as cool as that. So this setup allows the majority of the people out there to use this hose to replace their current stock hose without changing their stock gun and their whole setup. It's just apples for apples m22 m22 just a better hose because the ones that come with them usually are horrible especially the ryobi's the greenworks those hoses are so cumbersome and they're just infuriating but it has that very very almost kink proof it will kink if you pull it pull it but i mean how often are you going to be pulling it that tight a lot of people that would be using these don't have a hose reel and it just it coils up real well but it lays flat now this is a 304 stainless steel, full stainless steel, not even Obsessed Garage has M22 fittings like these, full stainless steel, even the inner part. Almost all the ones that you see out there that say they're stainless steel, it's just this part. And this internal part right here is still brass. Not only that, every single one of these comes with upgraded Viton O-rings, which are gonna last you a lot better and they're just gonna get a better seal much easier. Now in this kit, you have everything you need if you have M22 fittings on your pressure washer gun and your pressure washer. You have two males, one for your pressure washer gun, one for your pressure washer. For your pressure washer hose, you have a quick disconnect here and here for each end. You even have stainless steel garden hose connections from your house to the hose and then from the hose to your pressure washer. Now, obviously this is a bit pricey. It's about 68 bucks. I have a link below on Amazon. Anything in this video, there'll link, be a link below. Now, one more thing to really think about with these is this is more industrial. So this can handle up to 275 degrees. So it can handle hot water. It can handle 4,000 PSI. The Uberflex can only handle about 3,100 PSI and cannot go above 140 degrees. So this is a cold water only hose. This can handle hot and cold. Now, for almost every one of you out there cleaning off the side of your house, washing your car, you're never gonna meet those numbers. You could have a cheap gun like this. I got this with a foam cannon for like 35 bucks. This has an M22 14 millimeter fitting at the bottom. Uberflexes are 14 millimeter. This entire kit is 14 millimeter. There's lots of them out there that use 15 millimeter. So you need to make sure you know what you have so you buy the right fitting. But you got your M22 fitting and it just goes in there and screws on. Now this one doesn't have a swivel. So when you turn the gun, it is going to turn the hose. And if you turn it too much, 
it will loop. Now to turn Uberflex into a quick connect is very easy. We have our McKillens right here. This is the M22 14 millimeter one in and a three inch quick disconnect. Just screws right in to the hose. And there you go. And unlike the fittings that will be on that three inch hose, if I need to take those off, I need multiple wrenches and I need a lot of strength to break that thread lock. This, I have my quick disconnect. If I don't need it, I could take it off that easy. Just very good ease of use. So you take that quick disconnect, hook up our gun. Now you see, we don't have that much bulk off the bottom right there. It's not a lot. Quick disconnect. Overall, less bulky. You can tell. But what most people don't take into effect is the hose has a crimp right here that elongates it. And if you line them up even where the quick disconnects are, the curve point for the Uberflex is actually higher than the curve point for the gray non-marking hose. But obviously there is a difference in the bulk right here for sure. Now you don't always have to have quick connects, which is the great feature of the M22, is we can hook directly up to most pressure washers. Some of them have proprietary technology, doesn't allow you, but most of them have a fitting coming off the pressure washer. You can just take your Uberflex hose, if it's 14 millimeter, and then just plug it right in. And it screws down real nice and easy. And there you are, especially if it's always hooked up, you don't need a quick connect there. Now, if you do want to go quick connect for your pressure washer, you need this right here. That's that three inch plug with the M22. That's going to go right in that spot, just like the other one. Make sure it's a 14 millimeter for this. And we just use our quick connect and we are good to go. Now, another myth about the M22 connections that I thought was true and the, another reason I didn't buy it is because I wanted to go to a hose reel. And I thought the only way to go to a hose reel is to go three inches hose. It's actually very easy to hook up one of these hose reels. And one of the biggest things people gripe about is saying that the, the hose sticks too far out of this because they were using quick connects and this and that, but you don't have to do that. All you need is one of these right here. This is a three inch inch thread on one side and an M22 14 millimeter on the other side. This one is nice and O-ringed, so it seals really well. You don't need any Teflon tape. It just screws into that three inch fitting right there. We feed through our hose reel and then just thread it on because the hose does not move. It does not curl. It does not twist. This is just so much easier. And the footprint is so small because of the curvature point of the M22. Once you get it in there, once you get it fed into your hose reel, it is just sitting right at the edge of your hose reel. So it's not going to hit anything when you reel it in. And now you can just sit here and reel it in. And this actually reels pretty easy. This is actually the first time I've reeled it. I'm just guiding the hose at the bottom. You have to put a little bit of tension, no matter what hose you use, kind of down here at the bottom to get that really nice, even spool. And since it's quarter inch and it's smaller, you might actually be able to fit a hundred foot hose on a 50 foot hose reel. But that just works really well. I mean, look at it, it's not unraveling. It's this uh, reel is not that bad. It's like 85, 90 bucks, journal pump, 50 foot, it's awesome. And it does really well and it lays, it doesn't unravel. So that myth is completely busted. Now here's your three inches hose. The first thing you have to do is on the male end of the hose, you have to take off this plug. And this can be very, difficult if it's threaded down. Normally these are about a seven eighths and the internal run here on the hose is about like an 11 sixteenths. I've already undone it. So this is easy here. So if we feed our hose through and want to screw it in here, you'll notice the minute that I want to turn the hose is moving. It is not, it's not, it's not what to play nice. So to avoid that, you could pull through I don't know, maybe 20 or 30 feet and then just deal with the constant curvature. This is thing is going to, is going to, you know, coil over probably 10 times really tightly. You could do that or feed it from the outside. That way you have the hose pulled way out. That allows you to put this in here and then just spin it like that. And then you could tighten it down. Now we have to take our female end run it through the hole there, and then we gotta pull all 50 feet through. Now, once you have it fed all the way through, as you can see, we're almost 
to about the same edge that we were with the M22 fitting. Slightly a little bit less, especially when you know you torque that in another two or three turns. But now we could run the three inch hose. As you can see, it wants to reel really nicely as well. It's very heavy, so I don't have to put as much pressure right here to reel it in. I do gotta say though, this one tends to want to go offline a little bit easier than the Uberflex. And there you go. So I've changed the positioning of the camera so you can see everything. It's already coiled up, so we already know that we're gonna to have to deal with a little bit of coilage as we pull this straight. Sometimes some of these are gonna to wanna to coil up. We'll see how easily it unforms and reforms. And then all I have to do is a quick post flip and I'm straight. And like I said before, no hose will ever not want to turn kink. They all do. It's the easy of how to correct it, keep it flat as you're going all the way around the car. I mean, we're, we've gone all the way around back to the other side. This is when the majority of your kinks and coils are going to happen. Transferring across the hose, as you can see, look at that. It uncoiled itself. I was not expecting that. We're coming back this way. I am correcting anything. Oh, there's a coil right there. See it? Easy turn with the hand and we're done. I have that control hand here. I have the swivel on one hand. I am unswiveling and correcting the hose as I go. Like I said, there's no perfect hose. They will all do this is how easily it undoes. And man, you saw that. That coil actually undid itself. So here's another one. We're creating this coil just to show you what can happen. Coil undoes itself. Now I'm not saying that on say concrete that it might catch more because this is a much smoother floor. But you saw how easy that was. See, if I want to undo this coiling right here, and I want to go far out, I just do a quick hose flip. And there we go. You see how nice and flat the hose lays. I was totally wrong about this type of hose. I do still like the feel of the 3H because it's very industrial feeling. This is very light. It's harder to get used to, but I'm catching on. And we now have the 3H hose out. We're going to do the same thing. I'm just going to pull. Does it uncoil itself? It does not. I have to flip my swivel and I'm good. Let me flip the swivel one more time. You should be able to make it around the cart. Lays nice and flat. Now the biggest thing about this hose is since it's a bigger diameter, it tends to not get trapped in the tires as easily as say the smaller diameter hose. They do make little things to put on your tires that will, you know, help guide. We're going to come across and create a coil. As you can see, this actually wants to do something weird here, but I have my swivel hand and I can correct it. Let's try to create some more coil madness right here. See how it handles. It just wants to stay. I, I do a quick little hand move and I'm good. I want to unravel the rest of this. Hand flip, swivel change. Do another one. And another one. This was pulled up, I think, one more time than the uh, Uberflex. Now I've got to undo that coil, that coil. I got the coil in the back back over there. But well, I don't see if there's any performance difference between the two. We have our 3H inch grain on marking hose here. We have our gauge and our gun. We'll be using the same gauge, same gun. And let's see what happens. This is a 4.0 tip using my active 2.0, 40 degrees. <laughs> 900 PSI all day. Now here is the Uberflex. We're using a 3H inch McKillen's adapter. Nine hundred psi. So I am willing to admit that I have been missing out on this product, and I, I refused really at some point to not even do it because I was so fixated on the three H hose. I made a mistake in overlooking this for so long. You saw how easy it uncoils itself. It lays flat. It didn't need the weight to lay flat. I will say this just feels like 
manly, I guess you would say. In today's world, it may be something bad to say, but it just feels robust, heavy, industrial. But this one right here, it's light though. It feels so much better. You saw how easily it coiled. I've had it on my hose reel now. It's my hose that I'm gonna be using for at least some time. Uh, I think I'm gonna retire the three inches for now. So that's it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe. There'll be a few bloopers here in a minute. I'll see you in the next episode. You just take it. <laughs> oh, you're an idiot. Why don't you just like unplug it so I can't do that? Jeez. Let's come across. <laughs> Jeez. What is running that water? Probably a washing machine. I can't get anything done. I'm sitting here wait. Now you guys might not even hear it. But it's annoying as heck to me.